back here at Craft Warehouse and today we're playing with resin tumblers again and this time we are adding in this amazing glitter that we got in from the glitter guy. So I have three colors today. I've got peaches and cream. I've got dream jar. This is my favorite one out of the whole line. And yes queen. So um, you have to come check these glitters out. They're beautiful colors. Um, they're all their own mixes and the names are hysterical. So this is, as you can see by the mess, the second time we've tried this tumbler and what I learned was I was using way too much resin. So I've primed my tumbler with just Montana spray paint just to give it an undercoat and I've got my resin, but this is going to be a little different than the other tumbler videos that we've done. So we're going to put just barely any. So I went to the Glitter Guy website, I watched their video and they said, you just want it on like, like your adhesive. So it's not going to be a full resin coat. It's just enough to make the cup tacky. So we'll fast forward here a little bit so you all don't have to watch me make my cup tacky because it's going to take a minute and we'll cut right back to glitter time. <laughs> Okay, we're back. You can see I've got just like a super thin scrapey coat of resin on my cup there. And now I'm going to add my glitters and I'm going to start with peaches and cream. And I'm going to put just to put a tray underneath. I don't want to waste any of this glitter. It's so pretty. I want to be able to use it again and again. I'm going to go ahead and turn my spinner on and the trick with this is just to not chase your spinner. So if you're trying to make, I'm going to make some kind of diagonal lines. And if I don't hit a spot, I'm just going to wait for it to come back around to me and then I can get it on the second pass. And I want two stripes of every color here. Okay, now I'm going to come in with Dream Jar and I'm going to add my next row. Oh, Dream Jar is not going to fit through here. There we go. This one's fun, it's like everywhere. Oh, I mixed my glitter again. Okay, don't do what I did. Be smart. Use two trays. Because now my glitter is all mixed in there, so I won't be able to put it back in the bottle. That's okay. These are pretty together. I'll use them for another project. All right, and then we're going to come in with Yes Queen and fill in the gap in the middle. Now the first time we tried this, I painted the cup hot pink instead of ivory, and the ivory is so much prettier with the glitter on it. So I'm almost glad the first one didn't turn out because this is way better. And 
I'm just going to kind of keep adding my glitters until I'm happy with how it all looks. Come on, friend, come around. Okay. Okay, I'm going to slow it way down. And this is where it went wrong last time. If you have too much resin on at this point, all your glitter is going to drop to the bottom and you're not going to be happy with the way it looks. So hopefully I've got it right this time and I'm going to put on a fresh pair of gloves and I'm just going to burnish the glitter down with my finger. I'm just going to rub it down into the resin and kind of flatten it down in there. See, I may still even have a little more resin than I need on this. And then these big chunky ones, you just kind of have to to help them sit flat. There we go. I'm just going to flatten them down. I can feel it under my hand when they're standing up too much. This will just make your um, cup sit a little smoother when it's done and it also will make the glitter shine better because it'll be face out instead of edge out. This is definitely a patience process. It kind of takes a minute. And this layer doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna do something really spectacular over the top of this. Um, so this glitter is really kind of a background layer at the moment. But you could leave it like this if you like this look, right? Oh, so you could totally just could. Yep. Put a coat of resin over the top of it. Yep, just leave it overnight, let the resin set. Um, they recommend putting like a spray sealer of some sort. So like a clear coat that you spray on, not a brush on because you'll brush all your glitter off. Um, and then do a coat of resin over the top. So actually what we're gonna do is when this is dry tomorrow, we're gonna do a clear coat. You'll see all those layers go on. A clear coat, a resin coat, and then something a little magical. And I'm just swapping my gloves out because when I get too much resin on it, I start taking glitter off instead of putting glitter on, which is, you know, obviously not what we're trying to do. There we go, now it's starting to feel nice and flat. Okay, I think we're there. We're gonna let this set up and then we'll come back and seal it in. All right, so we've got our glitter. It's had time to dry. We're just gonna give it a skim coat and then we're gonna go outside and make some magic happen. So I'm just gonna get this guy rolling. We're just gonna put a light coat on here. I like to just take my popsicle stick and kind of help it move around. Set that a little high. Give myself a little more time to work. You don't need a ton. You're not going for like a quarter inch of resin here. Um, and you don't have to chase it. It'll come back around eventually. <laughs> So we're just going to spread this on until there's a nice even coat. I'm going to hit it with the heat gun to get rid of any bubbles and we'll let it dry overnight. Okay, that's probably good. All right, guys, so we're outside. It's crazy windy, so bear with us. This might get a little wild. Um, we've got our skim coat. All of our glitter sealed in. It's so pretty and sparkly. And you could totally stop here, but this is where the magic trick comes in. So I've got some Dawn Power Wash, Windy, sorry, some Dawn Power Wash, and I'm going to spritz it on my bottle, just little short spritz. Here and there. And I've got Montana spray paint in purple, and I'm going to spray right over the top of the soap. And just give it a good coat. why I've got the uh, paper towel wrapped around my hand here. Okay, 
And now right away, I'm gonna pour water over the top. And there's our magic stick. Oh, that's so cool. All right. I'm gonna let this guy dry. And then I'm gonna do one final coat of resin over the top. And hey presto, we're finished. All right, so we've got our mug all ready to go. Our paint is dry. And we're just putting a final seal coat on it and then your uh, soap spatter mug is done. I'm just gonna put kind of a skim coat on. It doesn't need to be super thick. It's just enough to seal the paint in. And I've got quite a bit of resin here. You won't need to make this much. I've got another project going, so I just made it my whole set all at once. I'm just gonna smooth it along. You can feel, you'll be able to feel under your hand as you go. Um, the spots that need more coverage, it'll kind of drag under your glove. If you do too much on this last coat, you'll get like a bubble at the bottom. And it looks a little strange and it makes it so that your cup doesn't want to sit flat when you put it on the table. Which is um, not ideal unless you want to wear your coffee. Alright, so I'm just going to let it come around. Make sure I'm all covered up. I'll let this spin for a few hours, um, probably till tomorrow morning, and then our mug will be done.